Hi, welcome back. Today was stage 11 of the Tour de France and Tour de Fleece. And what a race it was. It was definitely another sprinter's race, fairly flat course. And the typical sprinter's names were at the front of the pack. Uh, congratulations to Caleb Ewan for the win and followed very closely by Sam Bennett and Oot Van Aert. Um, Peter Sagan was right there as well, but he did suffer a penalty for um, giving a little nudge to Wood Van Aert at the, um, close to the finish. So unfortunately he was sent to the back of the pack or his ranking was sent to the back of the pack. So Pramov Rujlik still holds the yellow jersey. Congratulations to the front runners of today's stage and uh, can't wait to see what tomorrow will bring. As far as the Tour de Fleece goes today, I did get everything I set out to do today done. Um, the Earth braid was finished, so this was the result. And again, I just love this as a single, but I have decided that the only one that I'm going to leave as a single is the yellow. Um, and. <laughs> and cloudy sky the one that was this blue and white mostly white um, because that one is going to make a nice gradient for a summery shawl um, or something um, but I set out on the tour to do regular two ply yarn so I am going to stick with that with the exception of those two that I really love so midnight pumpkin will get plied this will get plied um, and all of the following um, braids will likely be plied, likely. Um, I also did a, um, a lot of the butternut patch. Um, so that is most of that braid completed. And I'm really loving how that came out too. Um, this is making it look awfully yellow, but it's not that yellow. That's more like the color. It's more of a, um, it's more of like a light pumpkin, like a butternut squash. So, um, that was today's, um, spin and it was 167 grams. Tomorrow is a big leg, 218 kilometers. So that means it's 218 grams to spin. Um, I got out of order of what my original plan was, but my original plan has been thrown out the window since the beginning anyway, with the change of plans to do the crazy art yarn. Um, so, um, I just kind of tried to cycle back some of the ones that I accidentally missed. So tomorrow I will be finishing the butternut patch. So this is all that's left. It is 20, 25 grams. Um, so I'll be finishing butternut patch. That'll go on here. Um, and then Dylan's Rose will be the next one. So this is American Wool by Sheep Sprouts on Etsy. And um, it's a lovely um, red and pink toned braid that I dyed in the crock pot. Um, and my, my granddaughter, Dylan, thought it looked like a, like Rose, so that's why we call it Dylan's Rose. So that will be done tomorrow. That's 121 grams. I've already taken out what I want for the, um, the art yarn. And then the last one that will be done will be Tahiti Sparkles. So this is done with the same colors, the same fibers that were in the Tahiti yarn, or fiber that I spun earlier in the tour um, but this one I added some um, some sea cell and some fire star and then also some little pops of green here and there it's just these little tiny fluffs of green I got on wish so this is a mini art bat that I made on the blending board I've already taken one and um, kind of pulled it apart in a zigzag and made a roving out of it. So that's how I'll be spinning these. Um, so it will have sort of a grady, gradient look to it. Um, 
I did not, I forgot to save Tahiti for the Crazy Art Yarn, so I definitely have to save some of this. And what I think I'm going to do is just pull a wee bit of each color at the beginning when I get to that color um, to put in the Crazy Art Yarn. So that's the plan for tomorrow. I will leave you to enjoy today's, tonight's spin. Um, at the end of the spin, I did um, change the camera mode from the time lapse to real time. Um, I realized that every spin I've done has been time lapse, and so you can't really see the struggle. Um, so I did the last little bit of um, the butternut patch on real time. I hope you enjoy this spin. Um, if you do, give it a thumbs up and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks! So a little lesson on wheel maintenance here. I really struggled here at the beginning of the earth spin because my yarn just kept being taken up so quickly by my wheel even though I had absolutely no tension and had cross laced but what I didn't realize until later was I had not properly greased the orifice area and there was a lot of friction that was pulling my yarn up quite quickly so you'll see me um, grease the wheel here in a minute.
Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow.